Hello, and welcome to another sprue camp tutorial brought to you by Tormach. In this tutorial video, I'm going to go over some of the basics of the Tormach 2012 machine definition. The first thing that I'm going to show you is how to move this G54 off of the table in relation to the definition. You'll notice that it defaults right to the surface. And so if you put your G54 on the top of your part, your part's going to be embedded in the table. Usually this will cause errors when you're actually making the machine operations. So we need to raise this up. And in order to do that, you're going to highlight your machine. Click Setup. It looks kind of like a mill right here. And you'll notice Workpiece Setup. If you click in the Global CS, three dots will show up. You're going to want to select those three dots. And then where it says Translation, Move that Z up a few inches, and then you can hit OK. And now you'll notice that it's up out of there, so you can make an error-free part. The second part that I want to show you is if you are going to be programming with a fourth axis. You can't just start programming. You have to actually enable the fourth axis in the definition. And to do that, you're going to want to go right next to that Setup button that you had just clicked and you'll see it looks kind of like a blue sun. Uh, it's machine setup. You're going to want to click that. And once again, this is with your machine highlighted. And then down below here is tooling. If you hit the plus next to tooling, you'll see here that you can, you know, put a crest on the spindle if you want to go that route. That's next to Z. Uh, what we'd be looking for here is the axis X. And it's right now at clear table. You'll notice that you have a horizontal axis A, a vertical axis A, or the tilting fourth axis. If you have that, you can bring that in, your horizontal, and the vertical. Now remember, if you did what we had previously done and you are using the fourth axis, you're probably going to want to move this back down. So you come back over here and get that true to center there. And hit OK. So the only time you will need to move that G54 up is if you are working with a clear table. This concludes another Sprue Camp tutorial brought to you by Tormach. <laughs>